Welcome back everyone for the next part of Persona Q New Cinema Labyrinth um, In this part we're going to go forward and explore more of the second floor But before I do that I finally, <laughs> finally noticed that every time we return to this cinema kind of thing we kind of get a full party here for free. There's no inn or some kind of sleeping area where we could get cured by anything. No, 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 no. All of that, all of that is just for free. I don't need to bother about that for now. Maybe they're going to add that later, but for the time being, it's completely for free. Also, I might need to confess something. Uh... You know, I kind of couldn't help myself and, uh, how should I say it? I, I kind of played a little bit around and made a risky mode play file. And I must say, risky mode, even though it's super unfair, it's kind of funny to die so easily. So... I'm kind of conflicted about playing it on hard models or switching it over to risky since I'm not that far ahead. So I could actually wait for our play file to reach that point and then just switch up to risky and just continue on risky. But then again, if I get stuck, if I get stuck on risky mode, I'm stuck forever. There's no way for me to go lower than risky mode. So I'm kind of conflicted about that. Hmm. Anyways, we aren't that far yet, so let me think about that a little bit more. For the time being, let's just enter the labyrinth. Yes. Well, now that we figured that out, and I should probably switch the screens. Uh, that weird mystery. Let's go look for Makoto and Haru. Before that, Morgana, there's something I'd like to ask you. After we entered the movie, are you able to see us from your side of the screen? Yeah, you were definitely on screen. It was like you were just characters in the movie. Oh, now that is interesting. i like to see that from here as well. However, there was one weird thing. Unless you all progress onward, the same scene of the movie would loop. Huh? What do you mean? It looks like the movie was on repeat. When you guys moved on, the movie would progress, as, uh, progress too. Somebody. Essentially, we developed the plot as if we were the actors within it. This is rather unpredictable. Uh, unprecedented creative activity. Such a long word. Hey Morgana, did you ever end up finding any clues here in the theater? No, I looked everywhere, but there isn't a single trace of Makoto and Haru here. If we're gonna look for them, it's best to do it within the movie. So, from here on out, I'm going to be in action. That's reassuring to hear, but will it really be okay to leave Futaba here by herself? Huh. She can do it. Don't worry about it. What? Is that a heartfelt confession of your trust in me? Uh, kinda. Hey, Ray, come on for a second. Uh, I mean, come here for a second. When I bent down, Morgana whispered to me. When I was tailing Hikari and Nagi, they didn't do anything suspicious. I don't think there'll be any problem leaving Kutaba here with them. Don't you worry about me. I just hang out here with our new blue blo uh, blue buds. Plus, if something bad were to happen out here, it'll be sucky if no one was around to report it to you. True. I'd stick to navigate and surf as a contact on this end. Any objection? Nope. Your assistance would be greatly appreciated. We'll all be relying on you. It's decided then. You're going to Morgana? Of course I am. I've got some serious skills myself, you know. 
You might be able to fight, but... Ha! <laughs> just sit back and watch. Right, Ray? We've made it through thick and thin together. Are we now? Well, we don't ditch our friends, so... Let's do that. Oh, Hikari. Yeah, what he said. Alright, let's roll out, guys. Okay then, you better first look over who's going to be during uh, who's going to be doing the fighting. If you all just bumble around in a group, it'll be easier for the enemies to find you. True, it's also our party formation to consider, with both front and back position available to us. Members in the back line take less damage from enemies than party members in the front line. Oh! Oh, nice! Do we always get that screen? Uh, let me switch it up again. There we go. So, overall, it's just a little screen. Yeah, you don't need to tell me the tutorial. This is the party screens, where we can see who's in the front line and in the back line. And in this game, everyone who's not in the team can also help us during a fight by causing an all-out attack as a follow-up attack. So let's say I would make that one enemy is on the ground. She would make that one enemy is on the ground. And there would be one left. And because of that one enemy, there wouldn't be any fallout, uh, all-out attacks. But then Morgana, who isn't in the party yet, would have a chance to pop out and just knock that enemy over. And then, everyone can attack and feels a powerful attack and everything is great and... <sighs> it's really nice to have that in this game. Anyways, now that we have Morgana, I'm going to switch him up with Akechi. It has a special reason, because uh, on this next floor I died like three times because I had Akechi instead of Morgana. <laughs> Oh, risky mode. I love you. Also, I kind of forgot to... Let's go back. To prepare a little bit. We need some defense. Uh, defense. Yeah. You need... Yeah, funny. So that's also fine. I'm gonna get that. Yuji, you're also going to get the better. Better. Oh no, don't buy that. So then we're gonna grab the better weapons for him at least. Yuji doesn't really need to attack that much. So she. She needs to get this little weapon here because it also raises her speed a little bit. Which is super important because she's our main healer next to Morgana, but Morgana has other things to do. And I'm broken, so I cannot buy that yet. Am I able to sell some stuff? I don't think that's quite enough. Uh, yeah, I could sell some popcorns. Is that enough? Yes. Okay. So then Morgana is going to get nothing because I'm still broke. Okay, uh, let's sell two more popcorns. Nope, that's enough. So now Morgana is going to get his weapon. There we go. So that. And everything's fine. Now we are ready for the labyrinth. So where did we left off? Second floor, right? Right. Oh, and more cutscenes, but I think this one isn't so long, so be careful in there, guys. 
I'll start navigating as hard as I can. <sighs> this movie though, it's seriously depressing no matter where I look. Who would even make something like this? The plot's all up too. That Kamoshida wannabe gets treated like a hero. Plus, the enemy here aren't even shadows. Seriously, they have nothing else going on. Uh, all we had to, all we need to do is beat them. So, what are you worrying about, no. dude? You sounds like a real meathead sometimes. You know that? Then again, I guess fighting's all we can do right now. Ain't like me to complain about it. Yes, this is not an occasion for panic. It's all attempt to remain calm. It is true that there's a lot we don't know about in this world. However, what we must do now is quite clear. Right. First we need to explore this movie and find Kamushida Man. After all, after all, we don't know if he's gonna harm Queen Enoir. Yes, seriously. He may or may not be the real dude. But just looking like Kamushida is enough to worry me. Let's go. We need to rescue them as soon as possible. That is, if we know where they are. Because right now, I don't. And this is actually quite upsetting. So, my auto mapping is still on. There are two shortcuts around. Never mind, I mean, three. And as I can already see, the encounter rate is actually quite high here. Oh. Hmm? What's that? Oh, it looks like something shiny. That's a rather beautiful gleam. I wish to observe it closer. Wait, is it safe? It could be a trap! Hmm, the more I look at it, the more mysterious a shine becomes. Could such an aura be replicated? He ain't listening at all! Fox is useless once he gets like this. Just ignore what he says. And I skipped the text! Oh man! Okay, never mind then. Let's just get a battle right on top of the spot. And he can attack me! And he almost killed him! Right! Dream Needle! Lung! Uh, you can use the Healing Stone. Agi! Garu! So that's the first thing. All out attack. That's probably not enough. Not quite. Did it work? It didn't work. And that was not enough. Now it's enough! So, let's see what this shiny spot is all about. Mm, its beauty is even more captivating when looked up at, at the, this close. Alright, come on, let's check it out. Hey, I can understand getting worked up over this. But it's not like the enemy will just disappear when we are checking this. We better be careful. You will have your opportunities to collect many items at certain points of the labyrinth. If you choose to search cautiously, then you might find up to four items while enjoying a low risk of battle. But the chance of your items will be low as well. Low risk, low reward. You only live once, right? If you choose to search thoroughly, then you may, fa uh, you may find up to 5 items with a great chance that they will be rare. However, you also have a great chance of triggering a battle. Treasure spots yield limited numbers of items, but upon exit and exiting the labyrinth, they are going to get restocked. Some of them will replenish themselves, allowing you to search them again later. To see if a treasure spot can be searched, place an icon on the map. This icon will display the status of the corresponding treasure spot. 
And that's all that needs to be said about them. I like to color them blue. Just because I don't really have a reason. I just like the color blue. That's all. <laughs> we have quite an opportunity here to get us some first class items. What do you say? Well, I can already say to you guys. I went to the spot like three times. Because I died two times after the seal. <laughs> it was super annoying. Anyways, I checked cautiously one time. Got everything, no battle. And thoroughly two times. Got everything, no battle. So, let's search it thoroughly. Indeed, let us seek the... Uh, let us seek the choicest item. So now we just click through this list to see which kind of items we're getting. And as you can see, there's no battle in the very first gathering spot. So always pick early. What could this be? Hmm, I can't get a good reading from where I am. Ergo, no idea, it's a mystery. Hey, animal nose are useful for this kind of stuff. Mona, can't you tell what it is by smelling it? Don't worry, Ryuji. Once we get our very important party member, we don't need to worry about that anymore. <clears throat> I am a human, not some police dog. Actually, you're a cat. Even still, it does have a pretty shine to it. It reminds me of a treasure. A treasure, huh? Then, for our own convenience, why don't we call this a treasure spot? It's possible that they provide high, highly lucrative goods. Sounds good to me. That will make it easier to understand for all of us. So, that shine disappears once you gather things from it. Such transity has a pleasant quality to it. Anyways, we should check places that have a shining light. Keep your eyes peeled, Joker. Of course. So, let's see. Where are we going to head now? Encounter rate is really low, so that's fine. And I'm just going to switch up now. Huh? What's up? Look! Up there! It's the news. The tragedy! The news! No! I'm just kidding. It's nothing that tragic. That probably boring. This went out. Queen! My girl! What? What? Hey, you're just supposed to catch them. Your hero isn't really supposed to punish the evil like that. What punishment? What the hell did he did we do? Now I'm even more concerned. Now their capture does explain why they never responded to Oracle's hails. I don't have any idea what's going to happen to those two. We have to find them as soon as possible. For what we just heard, they seem to be held somewhere called Kamoshida Square. Hold on, 
It's possible that we are being lured into a trap. That's very highly likely. What say you, uh, what say you Joker? Let's advance with cautious. It's really risky. I have a feeling there wasn't any point in asking. Oracle, can you tell where the square is? Mm, I don't think I can. Looks like you'll have to keep up the progress. There are also those wanting, uh, wanted posts that we saw. That means we are already being targeted. Hmm. We'll need to proceed with even more cautious from here on. Lead the way, Joker. Leave it to me. Oh, so confident! Yeah, I'm positive we can do this. Let's go save those two. Alright, Phantom Thieves, move out! I love the scene. So let's switch back. And we're going to walk one circle around and check our HP. I think we might want to use a popcorn on them. Because I never use them otherwise. So let's see. Check this out first. Because we really need to. Oh god, damn it, I hate them. Okay, I'm going to save right now. This thing! This thing killed me so many times! So many goddamn times! It's unbelievable, it's, it was ridiculous. And the only weakness it has is Garou. That's why we have Morgana in our party. Oh, and also those guys somehow carry around personas. It was the only way you can get other sub-personas, so if you see them, kill them. By all means, kill them. They are able to run away. So, yeah. So, let's see. This goes there. Line guard, I don't care. You can this Hagi to the back Garu to him and that should be all don't do it okay now Garu Hagi to the back one all out attack and that thing is dead So, now that we have done that, we get this attack, attack, you could heal him, and you just use Garou. Oh, you're weak to that as well. Oh yes! Oh yes! Just like that, we got our next persona! What is it? Oh, I didn't have that before. Oh, Kuku. Kuku. Nice! And it even got a buff or debuff. Ending the fight in a battle with an all out attack will trigger a finishing bonus, which awards additional experience points. So every time you have the chance to do it, do it! So, oh, we also get rare items. That's also nice. So, let me see that sub persona for a second. What is it? Pure element and lower attack. This persona is going to go to him for now. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let me go to this corner really quick. Color this one blue. And this time let's search cautiously. It's going to cause a battle either way. Because I'm always... Oh no! 
I wasn't unlucky this time. Okay. Normally I always get a battle here. No matter what I pick. Just because. The game hates me. The game just hates me. And I go to gathering points. Every time. Oh. The next shortcut. And the next doorway. Phew, looks like we managed to make some progress. Some? Hey, we already got quite far. If I could move that window for a second. I move this window, yeah. Look, we... Okay, we didn't really go that far. Never mind. Um, sorry. Don't go looking down at the Phantom Thieves. I don't wear out that easily. Please, dial back the testosterone. Just looking at him, staring to, uh, starting to tire. Oh my god! Just looking at him, start this thing to tire me out. Are you all right, Panther? Jeez, why did you have to go and upset her like that? What? That's just bull! Shh! Someone's coming. Let's hide until they pass by. I can hear the voices of nearby citizens. Did you hear? Seems like yet another criminal slipped into the city, besides those thieves. That's so scary! What kind of criminal? I don't know the details. Well, if they are defying Kamoshida, man, they've got to be criminals, right? That's what Kashima Kamoshida man said. So I guess they have to be. I mean, even if I said I didn't think so, that's just be painting a target on my own back. I'm pretty sure everyone else feels the same anyways. The shedding voice grow faint and tails off. They are gone. Huh? Dude, what the hell? You can get called a criminal just because Kamoshida man said so? They were all behind this punishment thing, but they are not even thinking for themselves. What Kamoshida man is saying, everyone else feels the same. It seems as if they are just going along with whatever those around them are doing. Cunning like a mob. More importantly, it's clear that Kamoshida man is not like the real Kamoshida. It didn't seem like those two people were exactly super fans of his either. Yeah, it seems to me like they are just supporting him because he's in a position of power. Some kind of hero he is. Might as well be the Emperor who parades around in his new clothes. They mentioned something else that I found curious. Do you remember how they said someone else slipped into the city besides ourselves? Who could that be? They didn't seem to be talking about Queen or Noir. Well, whoever they are, we just gotta keep moving from now, right, Stroker? Yeah. But I'm also curious about who it is. Hmm, what to do? Yeah. I can understand how you feel, but we need to prioritize rescuing Queen and Noir first. Yeah, hell yeah! Let's blast our way through and he's gone. Hey, don't rush in your head by yourself! You're going to kill yourself! Then again, I guess all his energy is doing the heavy lifting for us. We shouldn't fall behind him then. Let's move out. So he's going to lure all the enemies. Well, we are doing nothing. Really? I'm fine with that. But he's not really going to help us that much. Joker. That reminds me, Joker. Is the mat coming along nicely? Of course. Why wouldn't it? Really? Can I see? There. Hmm, looking good. The walls are outlined and we explored every nook and cranny thus far. We can also see we've yet to go to... Uh, we've yet to go, so there doesn't appear to be any issues. Most impressive. Looks like we haven't overlooked any treasure either. You are making pretty good use of that notebook. We should thank Hikari for giving this to us. Yeah, we probably should. 
But for that, we just need to go a little bit further before we do so. After Chicken Man is back. On two. And we wait around for a bit. Get out around. Please, not something deadly. Please, not something deadly. Seems like it's fine. Domina! Lang! Uh, Giant slash Agi Garu. What was that? I have no idea. I didn't fight that thing before. <laughs> Seems like that's not. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Now crit him! Crit him! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, please finish him off! Yeah! Ryuji! You, you're the best! Oh man! Now she even got deer! I have no idea what that is! Ah, right, it's the slight healing skill. And of course, we get some treasures. And next shortcut. Thanks for that. I think we could go a little bit further. We still have time, so that's also fine. So, first things first. We need to get those map data. Oh, there's a treasure. I. Uh, you, man, need to go a little bit further. Thank you very much. Now, what's inside? A soul drum. Okay, that's something I might need later on. One, two. Step yeah. below. Step. Let's go back up. And this would be our next golden treasure chest. Perfect. But we can't go to that yet. But we are getting quite close to it. Already 55%. This is bad. Never mind. Which one are you? The dark one. Okay. So, I ha. Lung. Runda. Just attack. Just attack. You can't do anything against. Come on! I hate those things! Those things! Those things were the one that always killed me. Because they stunned my main guy. And in the next round, if I didn't guard, they would have just killed me. Actually, I might want to be safe about this. Yeah, I should probably be safe about this. Lung. Uh, yeah, just attack. Can throw the item at me. You Garu! See? See how he always targets my main guy? Every time. See how he always does that? And that's how you dare had my game over. My game overs. So many times. God! <laughs> oh. Uh Agation. With Argy and Enduring Neck. What's that? Can I see that? Ah. Gaja, race the Ooh, that's actually good. Hmm. You know what? I think this one might be perfect for me. So I get a little bit more endurance. Pixie can go to to her because of the magic boost. No, wait, wait, not to her. She almost has no TP left. Actually, it won't make a difference. Okay, let's just stay. Did I give it to her now? Or did I? Yeah, she still has it. Okay, let's check this out. Yeah. We have yet again. Yeah, we have quite the opportunity here. 
to get us some first class items. What's that to you? Early. Because why not? One. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, that's fine. Let's treasure this in. And that be all. It's really strange. Usually when I go around here, I always get encounters. Every time. Anyways, I'm going to make a little cut here so that we can rest up. And then... We might push up a little bit further. So, and we are back. Right where the crossing was with the other, uh, I mean, treasure spot. And this mysterious door that leads... Seems like a boss fight. Stop, I'm getting another shadow reading from beyond this door. Are you ready to fight? Sure. <laughs> I just healed up. Yeah, time to show, for, uh, show off our power. Against... Here comes the shadow. Get ready. Against... What is it? A lot of things. Yeah, these guys just keep on coming. Don't worry, Skull. I got good news. Eh? Yeah, good news? I've got a pretty good handling on how to provide backups to and use personas while we are back. Uh, while we are here. From here on, I'll be helping you out. Having you for support would be a big help. Yeah, we can't wait to see what you can do, Oracle. Just leave it to me. I hope you're excited. What are you gonna do? Support. Uh huh. Party meter. Who battle the party meter fills whenever a party member attacks the shadow, and also whenever a party member takes damage. Support skills allow the battle navigator to join in, and since the party meter will replenish as long as you keep fighting, you should use support skills often. Okay, and what does it do? Mini recovery! Sure, why not? Uh, you gonna use. Alright, I changed it up. Let's use Line Guard then. Uh, the Slash skill. But on the other guy. Okay. Domina for the back bro. Garo on him. Ah, you also tried to Domina me, huh? Oh, forget that. Come on. <laughs> ah, you think you can do this stuff to me, but forget that. So... I can use power shot, but do I want to do that? Actually, why not? Lung on him. This is going to work. Yeah, you can do this. And of course... Wait, wait, what did I do? Single shot. Yeah, like this. Lung on him. That works. Agi on him. And Gao on that thing. That thing missed. That worked. That worked. That's not weak to Gaagi. And Lung missed. So if Lung miss, that means I can probably use Darkness on it, right? You guys just gonna attack him. And Garo him. That should kill it off, and the other ones are going to take care of it. Oh yes, we get the all out attack! That means extra XP again! Oh, never mind, it survived. What the hell? Why did it survive? That's unfair! It shouldn't be the case! 
At least we got Headbutt. And uh, Lucky Punch. Some stuff. Okay, looks like the coast is clear for now. The guy seems to be getting back into the groove of... Uh, uh, guy seems to be getting back into the groove of things. Compared to when all of this started. Yeah, I think I'm getting some of my movement back. Let's keep this up and hurry to Queen Anoir. Sure. But we need to watch out for those FOEs. And after all, we are kinda hunted. Hey, chick man. Are we going to walk in one circle? I mean, I don't mind that. After all, I still need the map data. We are only at 70% right now. But there's still quite a lot to cow. Oh, what's that? Wait. Huh? What do you want? If you don't hurry up, then look over there. What's that? You mean those lights? What are those doing there? They are more likely searching lights. Seriously? They may be for spotting us. Or they could be use, uh, using them to keep a close watch on all the citizens. All for the sake of not letting this evil they speak about escape. Talk about being effing disgusting. It makes me want to destroy the things. I get you, but be cautious. It'd be a real hassle if you get caught by the enemy. Make sure to avoid the searching lights till you proceed, okay? But... There's a treasure lot. There's a treasure chest. What's going to happen if I step on one? Oh! Instant fight! Super strong enemy! That was a mistake! <laughs> Support! Mini recovery! Uh, let's use... The Kasha on myself. Rather, bad idea. Healing stone on me. Line heal on him. Lower his attack. Agi on him, Garu on him, and that should be fine. Come on, please. Okay. That was attack. One. Healing stone. Agi. Kill him. Didn't quite kill. Okay, let's do this again, shall we? Line guard. You can use the healing stone on her. Another Agi for him. Another Garo for him. And that should probably finish him off. Come on. Maybe? Ah, not quite. Come on! Just, uh, Okay, perfect. Uh, lucky neck. Is that going to boost? Ooh, that's... That's nice. And another healing skill. Next time she's going to get a seal skill. That's perfect. Anyways, I should probably color in those tiles a little bit special. Like yellow. But we still need to move a little bit closer. For the treasure chest. Please heal up. Actually, am I able to get to... No, I cannot get to the other guy. Who could possibly heal me? No! No, 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 no! Don't do it! Don't do it! No! You... You monster! You monster! 
Oh! Okay. Uh, this. Mein God. Tarunda is really necessary against that thing, and I am not sure about you. Um, please work. But oh! Alright, that's something I forgot! Resistance is bad against that! Single shot. Line heal. Uh, the technical skill should work. Be on him, because we do not, we do not want him to die. Not like him! Oh god, no. You can use ice? Oh no! No, no, no! No, no, don't do this! Don't do this! Don't do this! Items! Do I have a healing stone? No, you cannot use the healing stone. You can also not guard anymore. That's bad. Why aren't you running away? Actually, you cannot use the support skill. I most likely died. Because I was greedy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna die because I was greedy. Let's escape. We actually escaped. Give me the treasure chest! Yes! Get more money in battle! That was worth it! <laughs> Kinda! Little bit. Right? Little bit worth it. Get that out. So, uh, I'm not gonna go back in there, so... Go home. <laughs> Let's go home. And you know what? I think that's that was quite enough for today's part. I hope you guys had fun with my barely, barely escape at the end. And our awesome reward. And in the next part, we are going to continue our search through the second floor. And then...